Hey guys and gals, Chartreuse here bringing you some more Minecraft Redstone today. Today we're in the snapshot 14W19A and we're taking a look at the new slime block piston behavior. Now this behavior was added last snapshot but the one I'm using here was just added this one which is being able to do horizontal pushing of entities. Now before you could just bounce them up in the air like the classic sand piston trick and such but this one I'm using the horizontal thing to send these redstone ores all the way around, or not redstone ores, redstone dust all the way around this little tr circuit I have running here. So how this wor works is primarily these sticky pistons, uh, the slime block pistons, I'm going to keep calling them sticky pistons, I've made that, made that mistake multiple times, and what they're doing is I have a dropper here, it could be a hopper as well, it's shooting up an entity, and then this thing, two ticks later, is going out and pushing it, it's bouncing it along this little circuit here, can't quite see it here. They just shoots along 23 ice blocks up into a hopper, which I, 23 I believe is the maximum it can do. Well, 24 because it falls in the hopper. And it can barely make it to 25, but 24 is a nice uh, number. It just barely, because I tried to have this before without the hoppers and such. Uh, other problem with that is the items despawn after five minutes. But anyway, the circuit's fairly simple. Uh, we have a comparator coming off the hot dropper. And it's on a little clock here with the three tick delay. Um, you, you don't want to shrink this down any because otherwise the piston will be off time. And you'll have times when the dropper fires an item into the slime block while it's covering it. Then this the whole thing jams up. You get multiple items just sitting somewhere on the track or in the thing. And it doesn't work anymore because of item grouping. But with this timing, three here. One to the power of the dropper again, so four ticks later. And then... Then you power the piston, another three ticks, two. This just feeds onto itself to be a little clock here. Because we know this is stronger. You can make this inverting if you want, doesn't make a difference. Or it seems not to. Should be inverting, but it doesn't matter. And that's how that's basically how it works. The hoppers just continuously feeding the droppers. The circuit runs, bounce it, picking an item up, bouncing it along to the next one. Then you may know something here. I have a slime block touching blocks and not moving them. So that's accomplished by using tile entities such as a dropper or generally weird blocks like pumpkins which seem to not affect it which is quite nice because they're handy they don't have any UIs and such. You can see how it's working here. That block on top is not strictly necessary and because I... Re there we go. Place it on top of the slime block there. Uh, but yeah, because pumpkins are just weird. So I use them. But you can use any tile entity. Uh, crafting tables, furnaces, droppers, hoppers. That sort of thing. And the slime blocks won't pull them. That might have been just added in the snapshot, I'm not sure. But it works quite to our advantage with this nice horizontal shoe thing. And what? Oh, I threw my slime block on. Now it's now it's in the cycle. Ah, that's neat. Anyway, I thought I'd make a cool little decorative thing. You can see you can have items shooting around. You can have more than one item. You can do whatever you want. You can, have, you can show your valuable valuable diamonds, swords, all that cool stuff circling around. They won't despawn because they are going into an inventory and being shot back out again. And so I'm cool with a little room like this. May have a box room, walls like this. You can just have your items circling around you. Storage room. Neat way to store them. Um, might end up using this for some cool storage thing where you can request an item out of here using a hopper trail somewhere. Hey, it's been Chartreuse. Have a nice day.